Hi, right now what I want to show you is how to install your ferrules onto your bamboo bike. And I'm going to show you how to install them without any special tools. Basically the only tools that we'll be using today are going to be a toothpick, some masking tape, a pen or pencil, and some sandpaper, and our calipers to do some measuring. And that's all we're going to need. Uh, first step I'm going to do is I'm going to find the distance of the female barrel to the moisture plug. So I'm just going to drop it on a toothpick and right now I have that mark. So I can either draw a line or I can just pinch it and hold it like that. I'm going to take this mark and I'm going to transfer it to my blank. So I put a little mark there and now I'm going to hold it flush with the tip of my blank and I'm going to make my mark. Now we have a reference point to how far the female ferrule will come down on the blank. After that, I want to measure out the length of the tabs from here to the first shoulder. So I'm just going to hold it up in line with my mark and I'm going to transfer that mark over to my blank. Now I have two marks. I'm not going to do any sanding past this first mark uh, with the exception of sloping this section here in order to accommodate these tabs. I'm not going to touch anything below this line. In fact, I'm going to put a piece of tape right at that line right now. There we go. And I'm going to just draw my line all the way around my blank. Alright. Now what I need to do is slowly turn down the diameter of my blank so my ferrule will fit. Obviously you can see the ferrule will not go on. A little tip that I'd like to give you is uh, since we feathered these tabs they're very sharp on the edges so if I slide it on these will act like a plane and actually shave the bamboo. What I like to do is just push them out in a little bit. They should be thin enough that they should bend out and flare just a little bit. They will be push back down when we glue the ferrules on and we'll use string to tie them down. So this way when I slide it on I'm not shaving the bamboo. I'm going to use a series of sandpapers from 150 grit just to knock off the edges and get a round surface then I'll move to a 320 grit and when it's about a thousandths or two thousandths oversized I'll move to a 400 grit. I like to start at the tip and work my way down. One thing to remember when you're working with the butt is that the taper will progressively get larger. So as you bottom out, you'll be actually removing more cane here. When you're working with a tip section, it's just the opposite. It is thinning. So just because you work out in equal sections doesn't mean you'll have equal diameter when you're done. It will vary by a thousandths to a half a thousandths and that can affect the fit of a ferrule. I like to fold my strips of sandpaper in half, fold them over the rod, and basically what we're doing is just turning it, just making a hand lathe. And work your way up to your line, and then you can work your way back. It's slow going, but you should be able to turn one of these down and probably 15 minutes.
depending on how much bamboo you need to take off. One thing about our blank, when we did measure the ferrules, it came out to be almost 12 exactly. That means I shouldn't have to take too much off. If it was like a 12.4, I would be taking a lot more off. If it was like a 12.6, I'd actually size up to a size 13 ferrule, which means I'd take very little off. Now you don't have to do this with just your hand, you can also do this on your leg. If you'd like, you can just hold it on your lap, hold it here, and just roll it this way. In fact, this way you'll be taking a lot more bamboo off per pass. I will check it a little bit more frequently. on working this this is all the way down. I do have the male section done. Let me just show you what it looks like when it's finished. Again, uh, it's going to be round and then this here is where my first original line was and here's my second. And I just took some sandpaper and I angled it and I just made a smoother transition for those tabs. It's slow going. If you take your time, measure often, you'll have a perfect fit. If you're looking for a snug fit depending upon the glue you're using will be different types of fits. I like to get it so it just forces on and gives a little pop when you pull it off. Uh, good luck with it. Thank you.